Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jaime. I'm part of the Android team as well. Um, today, uh, I'm going to present to you program indicators and legends. Um, for this session, we are assuming that you already know um, program indicators and you have you, you know how to create them and have played with them. Um, this is a short presentation, OK? Um, it will be like five slides, but then I will do a demo um, very similar to the exercise that you have to do. And later, uh, uh, we will give you 15 minutes to do the exercise. Um, remember, you don't have to um, finish it today. I think you have more time until next Wednesday, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, let's start. Uh, program indicators in the Android app uh, live uh, in the domain of the tracked entity instance, okay? Uh, so um, they are calculated with the with the data from the TI enrollment. Uh, so it doesn't make sense for us, um, cohorts, uh, group indicators, none of that, okay? Um, where can you see the program indicators in the app? Uh, in the tracked entity instant, instant dashboard, um, when you go to the, your TI, there is a bottom bar. And you will see in the bottom bar a uh, button similar to, to this one with the red circle. And if you click there, um, you will see right here on top the indicators. Um, there is something quite important that uh, you need to know is that uh, when you are, um, if you want to display and show your indicators in the Android app, uh, when you are creating them on the server, you need to mark this option, this plain form. If you don't mark it, the indicate you will not see the indicator, okay? So I will show you later in the demo and I will go step by step. Um, what are we um, supporting and what not? Um, so aggregation types are not supported in the, in the context of the TI, uh, only the last value. Um, when it comes to data elements and constant, uh, we support all of them. And for variables, only the ones that you see in the right image. Um, you can also find this in the documentation, um, but these are the ones that we support at the moment. Uh, for uh, D2 functions, we support all of them except uh, re relationship count. And analytics periods boundary, we do not support them as they apply to multiple TI, and we're talking about um, uh, the context of of a specific TI. Um, when it comes to legends, well, le legends uh, are very useful because you can show them together uh, with the indicators. Um, let's say, for example, you have an indicator risk patient and you have like a high risk, medium risk, and low risk. Um, and you wanna show red color for uh, high, high risk, you wanna show uh, yellow color for medium risk and green color for uh, low risk. So you could do that with, uh, with a legend and an indicator. There are a couple of things, uh, important things about the legends um, when it comes to boundaries and stuff like that, but I will uh, explain it to you specifically uh, later uh, during the demo. Um, so yeah, let me, so this is uh, for now. Uh, I'm going to, uh, so I'm going to create an indicator, okay? And I'm going to uh, go step by step. Um, okay, can you see? Yes. So in your exercise, uh, don't worry about, about the details because we will, I will give it to you later, but you will have to log in with your admin account, okay? And then you will have to go to maintenance in indicator section, and you will need to click right here on the fab button. Uh, so you can create an indicator. I have already created mine. Uh, let's explore it. So um, the first thing, uh, in, when you're creating an indicator, again, we are assuming that you know this, but uh, just uh, to give you a quick uh, explanation, uh, you have three sections. Uh, you need to fill the indicator details, um, the expression and the filter. So for the details, uh, you need to choose the program, so, okay? So you need to choose your specific program. In this case, uh, it will be like ST00, um, whatever is yours, uh, COVID-19 case-based surveillance. Um, you, you, will need, you will also need to uh, choose a name. Uh, please remember to add your code here, your ST code. 
because if everyone is going to create an indicator, um, it's going to be a bit, uh, it's going to be a bit, a bit of a mess. <laughs> so um, remember that. Um, you will also need to put a short name. Um, and in analytics types, you can choose enrollment. Uh, it was will work for he, for uh, this exercise. Forget about analytics period boundaries. We don't support them. And right here, you need to click on this plain form. Okay, this is the key. If you don't click here, you will not see the indicator in the Android app. Um, another thing that you need to do is to assign the legend. Uh, you don't need to create a legend for this exercise. We are giving you the legend. Uh, I will show you later the legend, but you don't need to create the legend. So you, when you are creating the, the program indicator, you will see the legend like this and you assign it. That, that's all. So that will be for our, uh, so for our indicator details. Um, and the next thing is the expression. Okay, so uh, the expression is basically the calculated value, as you know. Uh, we will give you the expression. I'm gonna copy that and later we can go through the exercise. Um, sorry. Yeah, that's it. Um, so you will copy the the you will copy the the expression here. Um, let me go through the expression because if maybe some of you have never seen this before, it might be a bit tricky. So we are using a D two uh, condition function. Uh, this function basically receive uh, evaluate uh, has a boolean expression that return true or false. Um, so in our case, uh, let me go through the express expression. Um, this is basically if the age is greater or equal than 65, return two. Now we are nesting another condition, uh, which uh, basically say if the age is greater or equal than 45, return one, else return zero. So let me go through the expression again. Um, if the age is greater than 65, it will return two. If the age is greater, and 45, it will return one, else it will return zero, okay? As you can see, it says that the expression is not valid and is not valid because um, you need to put here your uh, attribute age. So you, you will be able to find your attribute age just right here in the attribute section. And you have here, uh, your, it will show your attribute age. You click here and now you have your attribute age you can just copy this right here and right here. And you will be able, you know, you, you, the expression is valid, it does compile. So the, finally, uh, you will need to uh, add a filter. In our case, we don't want to filter anything. So you, you need to put true. If you don't put anything, it will say expression is empty. So we're gonna put true, okay? Um, for, for some other cases, you might want to filter um, about um, sex, uh, female, mer, male, or, or anything. But for this case and, and this exercise, you won't need to filter anything. OK? So this is the indicator. Um, now, um, as, you, as, you, as I said before, um, remember that our indicators can return two one or zero. So, and if you remember also, we assign a legend, the legend risk patient, okay? So let me go through the legend. Again, you don't need to create any legend. Um, if you can see the legend has three periods, okay? Uh, this is important. Um, so uh, one period, which is the first one, goes from minus zero, uh, dot one to zero dot nine. Uh, the next period, uh, the, the end value of a period and the start value of the next period, they have to have the same value, okay? If you don't put the same value, I, I believe you won't be able to save it in, in, in the server. Um, you, you need to have the same end and start value. Um, another important thing is that um, our indicator can return two, one, zero, okay? So two will fall into the red color, 
uh, which is greater than 65. Um, one will fall into the uh, light green uh, right here, uh, which will be uh, greater or equal than 45. And all the remaining cases will fall here, uh, which is zero. So uh, it's important to know that if at some point you return uh, instead of one, if I return 0 0.9, the Android app won't know what to do. Uh, so it doesn't know if it fall in this, in this period or this period. So it will be painted in, in gray color. So the, the Android app doesn't know what to do. So now you, we have created uh, our indicator with expression. Uh, we have our legend. And if you go to the Android app, okay, um, I can go to my program just right here. Um, I can just create a TI, okay. And as you can see, this TI called Ferdy has an attribute age of 66, okay. Um, if I go back here, remember the bottom bar um, with this one, I click. And now you can see that uh, this patient has a is, is a, um, has red color and has the, the result of the indicator is two, okay? Uh, why is two? Because um, as I said before, um, the age is greater than 65, therefore it returns two and therefore uh, it falls into the, the red category because two is between these two values. Um, so let me give you another example. Uh, Pablo, in this case, has an age uh, of 46. In this case, you, you will see the light green. And the last case, um, which is Jaime, uh, you oh, has an age, of, it is, Jaime is 30. So you see um, the dark green, okay? So for this session, uh, let me go through the exercise. You need to create a program indicator called risk patient, okay? For your stu student program, um, you, need to, you, you need to assign a analytics type enrollment with default boundaries. Do not touch them, please. You need to select display in form. You need to assign the legend that you already have, um, remember? And after you have filled all the indicator details, you can go to the expression, just right here. The same that I copy, you can use that one. And then for filter, you, you just use true. And another important thing, remember, when you, when you create uh, your program indicator, you, you need to check the share settings, okay? Uh, I always forget this, <laughs> um, but you need to check the share settings and give permissions. So let me just go back. You need to go, to give permission to your um, uh, to your user group, okay? So you can later see in the app. Um, and later, once you fin if you are finished, uh, you can just submit two screenshot screenshots uh, showing the indicator tab with two different colors, okay? Um, remember, you don't need to finish it now. You have more days, but yeah, uh, that's. Uh, from my side, all well, I will um, just uh, give you some time to perform this exercise. And if you have any question, you can uh, ask them in Slack or or here in Zoom.